you could use cognitive behavior play therapy with children to teach these same skills. What does that look like? There are ways to tailor the intervention depending upon the developmental level. I'll give you one quick example. Uh, Marlene Schneider and Art Robin develop a thing called the turtle technique. So this is used with people who have aggressive behaviors as children. So they come in, they tell the story about this turtle. This turtle has a lot of problems. This is not your regular ninja turtle. This, this turtle has problems, okay? So one of the problems he has is he has a lot of difficulty controlling his emotions. He gets upset easily. Other people call it names, he acts out, okay? He has difficulty focusing his attention. So they, they tell a story about the turtle. Now, you ready for this? What does the turtle do when he gets those feelings coming on? He goes into his shell. And you know what he does in his shell? He takes slow, deep breaths and he problem solves. He does kind of goal plan, do check. So what they do is they're gonna teach the kid how to do the turtle tricks. Teachers have now created turtle board games, turtle songs, turtle clubs. Not only that, we could teach the parents to model how to do turtle. So if you just do it in teaching the skills and don't build in generalization, it's not gonna work. So they teach the, the kids the kinds of coping strategies. So that's a, that's a variation. There are many other variations on this that could be tailored. And the notion is, if you could teach those skills and build it in, if you can engage the parents, teachers, and others, you can actually be effective in altering that trajectory. So there's some really interesting and promising data about how you could do cognitive behavioral intervention along that entire developmental line.